Welcome, everyone, to the Daily Juice Podcast on the Betting Pros Network. I'm your host, Sean Stacking the Money Green. Give me a follow on Twitter at Sean T. Green. And as always, Daily Juice being brought to you by BetMGM. Use the promo code JUICE and you get a risk free bet up to $1,000 when you sign up. All right, here we go. A little bounce back. Nothing to, you know, not popping the champagne, not, not dumping the Gatorade. But hey, two and one, winning day, winning slate. Let's get to it. And then uh, four, no, call it five. Call it five because I think it was uh, Sherpa in the Discord was was disappointed that I did not money line round robin um, the plays uh, that I gave out, which I, again, you know, whatever, I, I'm like Marty McFly in uh, Back to the Future. Like, wait, you call me chicken when it comes to money line round robin. So, Four plays, uh, three of which are the dogs, and then uh, you know, a little sprinkle of the money line round Robin. Okay, two and one. Get to the recap. Let's go. Wisconsin, only loser of the night, 69 65. Man, thought they played a pretty good game against Michigan State, but shout out to Michigan State and Tom Izzo. Closed strong, you know, like a 7 0 run there towards the end of the fourth. And then they just, it was like hanging around. If you, if you had the one and a half, you, you go, come on, give me that garbage three. Give me that garbage three for the back door cover. It just wasn't quite there. So a uh, decent game by the Badgers, but man, they felt like they kind of blew it there. Thunder plus three and a half uh, loss. Uh, they, they lost the game, but they covered the spread. And again, that's what we care about. They lost 112, 111. Uh, SGA though, did have a shot to, you know, to win at the end. Heat are a pretty dysfunctional team. There was a moment. I, I, I forget, uh, who it was, but someone chucked a massage gun out onto the court and then just Eric Spolster's reaction of just like, what the hell? And as someone who owns uh, one of those Theragun uh, massage guns, those things aren't cheap. Like, Hey, what are you doing? Chucking one of those? I get it. You're, you're made of money, but it's, it's very crazy to chuck a massage gun. They're not light either. They're, they're depending on what bottle you got. This thing's heavy duty to just chuck out onto the floor. Very, the, the team is dysfunctional and that's why they're a good team to fade at home ATS. Cause it's tough to price in uh, guys being super dysfunctional jazz plus four. They won outright one sixteen to one fourteen. They were just kind of hanging around there and, and, and closed it out pretty strong. There was like a crazy seven point possession with some, you know, and one on the three and then, um, you know, some technical fouls there. Uh, they had like a 13 Oh run late that really helped them win. Uh, the win was uh, honestly slightly surprising considering Donovan Mitchell had 46, but again, there was a bunch of those couple crazy plays at the end, uh, that helped them close it out. But again, jazz as a home dog secret elevation, please do not tell anyone that what salt Lake city's elevation is. They will destroy all my gambling profits. Just sharing with you, my fellow juicers, Alabama at Arkansas, the Razorbacks are catching one and a half over on bed MGM. I'm taking them home dog conference play. Let's go. You know, I'm going to be in on that. Alabama's defense is legit ninth in the nation in efficiency. Now both teams play good defense, but I think there's a difference between playing, you know, good defense at home with that home court. And I do think it's going to be rocking in Arkansas for this game. So I love the Razorbacks here. Plus one and a half over on bet MGM. They can play a relatively clean game. Not going to turn it over a ton. And if home court helps with anything, I, I do think it helps with offensive rebounding, which they're not the best at. So I, I expect a little bit of a little effort boost there at home. And you know, just like the spot here, Arkansas as a home dog, um, Arkansas, not great at threes. But the good thing is that's one of the things that the Alabama defense does really well. They clamp down on the three. So Arkansas's offense doesn't necessarily rely on the three ball. So I think they'll be able to uh, get enough points to cover. I, I This feels like a, a kind of a rock fight ish, not a full on rock fight, but rock fight vibes. Next up, we got TCU at Texas right now over on bed. MGM catching six and a half. To me, that is way too much. I mean, Texas is still trying to figure out their program. After uh, Chris Beard, they fired him. Uh, domestic violence uh, allegations, whatever happened there, they're still trying to sort it out. But they got rid of him. Uh, it was enough. Whatever, you know. I mean, I 
they they took care of it. They got rid of Chris Beard. They saw enough from the reports that said, hey, we're getting rid of him. Uh, but I think as far as what's going on in the court, it's got to be really tough for your program, right? Like a guy like Chris Beard and yeah, there's emotional aspects. Like a guy recruits you and then he does uh, what these allegations say. And it, it, it's got to take a toll on the program. Now, TCU, obviously they're a dog for a reason, but they do have the 25th ranked defense in efficiency. So I think they might be able to, to hang with this um, Texas team. And I'd love a good dog that uh, is good on the offensive rebounds, AKA uh, offensive rebounds, AKA getting those extra possessions, horn frogs, 19th in the nation. And uh, as, as a school, it feels like TCU is due for a break. Again, Chris Beard, they don't really know how to factor it into the line, I think, uh, with no Chris Beard. Still too early to really have a large sample size, and that's why I think we're getting a good number here, TCU plus six and a half. Speaking of Texas, you know what? What are they known for? Everything's bigger down in Texas and their steaks. Well, hey, I'll tell you my favorite steak, Omaha Steaks. No one comes close to matching the flavor tenderness and the value of those delicious Omaha steaks. Anytime I hear the word Omaha steaks, I just think of that sizzle, that delicious, delicious sizzle. Let's see if I have the steak file here. Oh, there it is. You're watching on youtube.com slash Betty Pro. Just look at that beautiful shot of the steak with the filet. It's a filet mignon wrapped in bacon. If that doesn't get your mouth watering, I don't know what will. And they have a guarantee. Uh, it's crazy because there's a lot of good steaks out there. Omaha steak isn't just the steak. It's the best steak of your life. Guaranteed. I can vouch for Omaha steaks. And they vouch for themselves. It's a guarantee. And if that wasn't enough, use our promo code JUICE. You get extra $30 off your order. OmahaSteaks.com. Promo code JUICE. Get the extra $30 off your order. Minimum order may be required, but Omaha Steaks, it's just delicious. Lafayette at Navy. I'm taking Navy minus five and a half over on FanDuel. Lafayette basketball is horrible. It's really bad, even by Patriot League basketball standards. I know what you're thinking. Sean, I'm a diehard uh, Sean Green fan. I know. Your dad went to Lehigh and you're just picking them because you're also a Lehigh backer. That's true. Do you have my CJ McCollum Lehigh Jersey, which I got uh, courtesy of someone over in China. They don't really make, uh, this is pre NIL deal. I guess I had to get someone overseas to make it. So I am, I'm, I'm certainly biased against Lafayette and the leopards, but Lafayette, they're three and 14. They're coming off a win. It is the perfect time to fade them. And you matchup wise, this is a nightmare for them because Navy can hit some threes. They are fifth in the nation. 40%. I mean, you're hitting 40% from behind the arc Lafayette 256 in the nation in defending those threes. They don't have a shot. And again, Navy is Navy has taken down much more uh, formidable opponents than the Lafayette Leopards. I mean, the Pacific campaign alone, shout out to Navy. Got it done. Uh, Going to get ugly. Give me Navy laying the points. Next up, Cal at Washington State. I'm doing it. Pulling the trigger on Cal plus 11 and a half. It's over on BetMGM. Washington State coming off a huge win in Arizona. Massive letdown spot uh, as they come home. Now, Cal to me. They're not as bad as their record shows, right? They just beat uh, Stanford. Uh, that was a huge win. Now, now it could be a letdown spot for Cal, but I don't think it's reflected in the line. And Cal is kind of heating up. They're three for thirteen, but they're three and one in their last four games. Uh, spread alone, this is just way too many points for a Pac-12 uh, conference game. Uh, obviously, the numbers aren't kind to Cal because they were legit horrible early on in the season. They've righted the ship a little bit here. And I think they're playing uh, certainly the best basketball of their season. I think they might have a chance to uh, snag one away from Washington state here in Pullman. Certainly love them with the 11 and a half. So as I teased before, let's do a little money line round Robin. Now, Arkansas, the money line sitting right at like plus 100. So not, it, not necessarily quite a true money line dog round Robin, but Cal, Plus 470, TCU plus 235, Arkansas plus 100. Get that over on DK. Again, how we do it one unit, split it up into four, quarter unit on each of the round robin legs there. So got that going. Got Cal plus 11 and a half. 
Uh, give me Navy minus five and a half. Give me TCU plus six and a half. And Arkansas as a home dog plus one and a half. As always, brought to you by BetMGM. Promo code JUICE. That's not a risk free bet on first deposit. Follow us on TikTok at Betting Pros. Follow me on Twitter at Sean T. Green. Check out my other podcast, Sports Gambling Podcast. Going to be live in Las Vegas. AFC Super Wild Card Weekend, NFC Super Wild Card Weekend. Uh, taping those episodes on Wednesday, aka today. And uh, you know what to do. Subscribe, rate, and review. And as always, don't forget to let it ride.